Hello students, how are you? Okay, so today I am going to solve some sums of share and dividends of class 10. Some of my students made comments that share and dividends This is from ML Agarwal. I think this is exercise number 4, if I am not wrong. There are few sums which I found in the comment section. And so, I am trying to solve the sums so that you can see the process, the procedure, how I am solving the sums. And you can make sure that any which comes in the exam from share and dividends, you are going to crack it. Clear? Okay. So, exercise code <coughs> number 23. The first one which I got from my students is number 23. A man invests rupees and in 60 shares of nominal value okay first let me write down what are the things written number 23 oh no 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 a man invest rupees so investment so investment is how much rupees 10,400 10,400 in 6 persons share Okay, so rate is equal to 6% at rupees 104. At rupees, a man invests rupees this one in 6% share that is dividend at rupees 104. That means spends value. This one 
now I have to choose which one I should go for in. In which investment should I invest my money to earn more profit? That is, which will be my more maximum or better investment? The one from which my earning will be more. So, main thing I need to find out. I need to compare the earning. And the earning it depends if the investment is same. That's different. Suppose I invest here ten thousand. I invest here ten thousand. So from here I got two hundred. From here I got three hundred. It's very easy for me to compare. But suppose the investment is different. I invest here ten thousand. I invest there five thousand. So there I cannot compare the return. I need to compare the percentage return. Understood what I'm saying? There I need to calculate the percentage. So previously, previously, previously the sum was yes. Previously also you can do the same method. But here you have to do this method. Why? Because here the investment is rupees one twenty, and here is rupees fifteen. So you cannot compare. Clear? So that's why I find out the percentage income. And here the main thing I think you could do the sum because the A was not given. Look. Suppose you sell a pen. Okay. Now by selling one pay, you make a profit of rupees two. Now it doesn't matter how many pay you sell. Suppose by selling one pay, you make a profit of rupees two, and selling one pencil, you make a profit of rupees one. So it doesn't matter if you sell two hundred pencils or five thousand pencils. You have to see which is the better price. So by selling a pen you are getting one rupee. By selling a pencil you are getting one rupee. So obviously the pen is better. So you can choose for the unit price also, the unit quantity also. Clear? Okay. So by now I suppose this type of sums you can do, right? Okay. Let me see what is the next sum. So twenty six twenty eight. Same exercise. Only one exercise is there. The number of our lives. A man invests rupees ten thousand eighty. Okay, very good. So investment. Rupees ten thousand eight hundred. No, ten thousand eighty. And in six percent hundred rupee shares. So dividend six percent. Face value rupees hundred. At rupees hundred twelve. Market value rupees hundred and twelve. Find his annual income. Okay, so first of all, you have to find the income. Second, when the share falls to rupees ninety six, so when market value is equal to rupees ninety six. He sells out the shares and invests the proceeds in ten percent, ten rupee share. Face value rupees ten, dividend ten percent. At rupees eight, market value rupees eight. Find the change in his annual income. Okay. <coughs> See. Very interesting sum. All of you should know because this will, this is the thing for which you are struggling to earn, to make money, to make profits, to make investments. Okay. So the thing is like this. Say, Mr. X, or 
see you. You got it is 10,080 rupees. So what you did? You buy this share. So what was the share? The share, the face value was rupees 100. But when you buy, you bought it for rupees 112. So from here, how many shares did you buy? N. What was your total investment? Rupees 10,080. Each share costing rupees 112. So, how much it will be getting? Just a moment. 110,080 divided by 112. 90. So, you bought 90 shares of phase level 100 dividend 6%. So, what should be your income? Face value, number of shares, dividend percent, 500. This gives you rupees 540. Is that clear? So the answer to this question is rupees 540. Okay, now forget this two. Second, they say that when the Share value is lower, decreases. When the share value was 96, you sold the shares. So, proceed means the amount of money you get by selling the shares. See, the thing is like this. I got this type of 100 pence. Understand here. I got 100 pence like this. Okay. Now I sell this one. For any reason, for any damn reason, I just sell this one. Okay? I sell this one, I got some money. With that money, I bought this pen. Understood? Previously, I used some money to buy this pen. After some time, I sell off this pen. Now, after selling off, I will be getting some money. So, without investing from my pocket, the money which I got by selling this pen, using that money, I want to buy this pen. This is called sell proceed. Sell proceed. Clear? Okay. So, now he wants to sell the shares. How many shares? So, you can say like this. Sell proceed or amount of money uh, or selling price of 90 shares. So sell proceed, how many shares did he sell? 90. What was the cost of selling one share? 96. So how much money did he get? 0, 96 is 54, 5, 9 months are 81 and 5. 86. Am I right? 0, 96 are 54, 5, 9 is 81 and 5, 86. So he got this money. Now using this money, he bought this share. So number of shares he buy, total money invested, 8640. Again, let me check it out. 0, 954, 9 is not. Okay. So with this money he bought this share and this share each he bought for rupees A. So number of shares he buy is 8 ones are 8, 0, 8 eight is 64, 1, 0, 8, 0 shares. So now what should be his income? Face value. What is the face value? 10. 10. How many shares? 1, 0, 8, 0. What is the dividend percent? by 100 so this gives him rupees 1080 so previously he earned this one now he earns this one what is the question find the change 
change in his annual income. So, change in annual income 1080 minus 5.40 is equal to rupees 540 and this should be your answer. Clear? Can I run it? Think, think, think. Instead of memorizing or going through a formula that the previous sum I did this one. So here also I will be doing like this. No. Science math is all about concepts. It's not like essay writing. That first I need to write a good introduction with giving a lot of So 
So number of shares, 70. Number of sales proceeds, how much? This share he used here. Now change in income. So first of all, I have to find out this income. Previous income. How much? Number of shares, 300. Face value, 10. Dividend, 8 by 100. 8 is a 24, rupees 240. If I am not wrong. Okay. Then, uh, what should I say? Next income. Next income. How many shares? 72.
in 200, right? Now, income percent they say is 4. <coughs> income, I don't know. Investment, he bought 200 shares. That means 200 into price of each share 80. In 200. Or income, I cut this two zeros, will be equals to 4 into 2 into 18. Am I right? I hope so. So 640 only. So less. Oh, income. Uh, income goes to 4 into this one. This one will go this side. So it's the 16 plus 640. Okay. So my income is, I already got rupees 640. Now, what they asked? 32. Okay. So what is my income? Income means face value into number of shares into dividend percent 500. So income here I got 640 equals to face value how much? 50 rupees. What is my number of shares? 200. What is my dividend? Don't know. 500. Therefore, D will be equals to 640 divided by 50 into 2. That means it will be 6.4. So my answer will be number 1, 6.4% and number 2, rupees 640. Anything else? So far, no. Okay, may I ask you why you couldn't do the sums? Because there is only one reason. You didn't think. You just applied your old formula. That the previous sums I showed us to do like this, so this also will be doing like this. No, my dear, different sums you have to apply different logics. The basic, the basic concept is same. Understood? So, do this exercise again and make sure this time you can do all the sums in one shot. And obviously correctly, huh? Okay? If still you face any 